Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah! Ve'ilu yinishmas imi merasi rismas Mordechai. It's a tremendous chus to be here in Boca. I've heard so much about Boca. I think I might have been here once for like an hour or two. But we've seen so many guests in our base medrash from Boca over the years. Just in the last few weeks, we had a bunch of people. I, I met a bunch of guys last night from Boca. Boca is, is a real, it's a real Makam Taira, real place. It actually, there's a person here. That I, don't, I don't know if you guys know him. His name is Rani Shabbat. He lives in Boca for most of the year. And Rani Shabbat is the one that got me started. He came to me when I was in Chicago many years ago. And he said, I would like you to give it to Mishir. And I said, okay, no problem. When? So tomorrow. So we started. And that's the shir that I gave for eight years. As you know, there's only five, six people for those eight years. And the difference between then and now is just, it's the same person giving the shir, just the preparation. More preparation these days than in those days. So wherever he is, Rani, Shkoya, I feel his presence here because I'm in Boca. And you guys know him? Anybody know Rani? He lives in Boca. Oh, he doesn't live in Boca. <laughs> is that a different place? <laughs> oh, it's the same. Okay. It's, it's, it's quite a hike to get here. It took us like an hour, over an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get here from Miami. I thought it was like, you know, 15 minutes away. Why do you guys live here? There's no beach. What? Ooh. You guys had to go to Miami yesterday. Unbelievable. I just want to talk a little bit about yesterday for those who weren't there. It was an amazing, amazing seum and event. We had over 600 people there. We had a, a women's section as well. And it was just done perfectly. But the whole uh, atmosphere, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Ambience. That's the word. The ambience. The just everything, the, the tables were set up with beautiful flowers and they had these cutouts of the art of, here are some of these guys. Everybody got one of these books with the art, but the art, they had these cutouts, acrylic cutouts that were like a foot and a half tall, beautiful stuff. It was just the dancing, the, the atmosphere, everything was beautiful. So, Yishkoi for all those from Michael Benson Street who's here today, who drove me here, who drove me back and forth. <laughs> Donald Gordon who worked crazy amount of hours and, and missed his yeshiva week vacation out of the state. Most of, what's very interesting is that most of the people that were at the Seum were from other states. There's maybe, I don't know if there's even a hundred people from Florida at the Seum. Because most of the people that live in Florida know to get away during yeshiva week and they run. So for all the organizers, Tomer, Levy, and all the guys we have here, Gary, the tech, we have Yossi Biliak who edits the videos, who's probably stayed out for examining to his son. What's your name? Baruch, Baruch who? Firm, and he comes every day to share almost. We have kids, so everybody's here, I don't want to get into the names. Dave Sharfman, who? Donnie Fine, I didn't mention yesterday. Donnie Fine, he's going to Donnie. <laughs> A couple of the Hatzalah guys who came in, they, they decided to stop by the house on Pine Tree. So I let them in. I said, if it's going to be five minutes or less, you can come in. So they came in, so we're schmoozing on the deck. And then a boat was going by. And all of a sudden, Ellie from the boat. Okay. Um, Donnie. Where am I? I just want to show you some pictures here. This is a scene that was yesterday in Muncie from MDY, Hevra, in Muncie. Here's an email, Mike Weirat. Dear Belly, wow, what a night. All the amazing food, drinks, music, dancing, speeches. It's a beautiful speech by Rabbi Shapiro. French, but beautiful, right? No, it's an unbelievable speech. Really knocked me out. Spoiled myself a new MDY cap. I guess this is the baby talking. Who's at the Seum. Uh, you know who Mark Weirev, he's the one that wrote the, the Safer, the Megillah, the MDY Megillah with all the shtick from MDY. Ashkayev again to the Venture Tree family. And all that were involved in making, all that were involved in making a memorable event. Ruben Weirib, I think, future MDY Kids member. Here he is on the plane with the cap, with the Nadarim. 
This is MD White Paranto seen last night. Beautiful event. And it says like this. What? Yeah, here it is. Here's a picture of the snow. Uh and another amazing MDY seen the Rana Khabur braved over a foot of snow to come out last night. The Rada MDY a foot of snow. And here in Miami it's like 85 degrees. We couldn't all make it to Miami, so we sent Mayor Panka and a number of Toronto MDY members, Miami is to represent them. While we're enjoying the sun in MDY Madison, we enjoy the warmth of Toronto MDY Achtos. We celebrate the completion of the door. We want to thank you for sending Doron Doron Cornblu to Toronto as your MDY RBS ambassador of Doron. Is Mechazik Doylan with the Rebbe Bracha and Chizot. Hugs all feel closer, closer pressure to you in the MDY headquarters. Look at Doron and got to experience a real Canadian snowstorm. See so attached picture. Phil shout out to Rebichiel Rice Reese who completed his first seum, and Chaim Blumenfeld, who completed his first seum in almost 15 years. See attached picture in the seum, Maslow and Hugs, Ari Blau, MDY Toronto Rev. And that's Ari smack in the middle, Yishkoya. By Avram Tikotsky. You know who he is, I'll explain to you, I'll remind you who he is. He's the one who, that first day, maybe it was even that day that I read the email from Michael Ben Shadrid. By the way, I mentioned that email, I, I missed a piece yesterday. Michael Benjamin Dredd in 2020, three years ago almost, sent me an email on almost the first day that we left the base Medrash. He said, he saw, he noticed that I was depressed, leaving the base Medrash, building a beautiful brand new base Medrash just for Afyaimi, having to leave because of COVID. It's very depressing. You think that all this work and who's going to come back afterwards? It happens to be that we never came back to the same numbers as before COVID. Interesting. Yeah, if you think about it, we had some day, many days, over 100 people, sometimes 110 people. It was very standing room only in the back. I don't think we ever got back to those numbers. So he wrote me this email saying that you should know that there's something called technology, and maybe because of this whole COVID, the shear is going to explode, blah, 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 this whole thing. And what I wanted to finish off last night, but I forgot, is that 100%, if you speak about it all the time, is that right at that point, you know, somebody breaks the shit up or something, and you think, wow, my life is over. Only to find out that this new woman that you met is a much better match for you, and you're going to have a much better life, and a guy gets fired from his job, he's all depressed, and I don't have a job. Da, da, da. Only to figure out that you're going to make a much larger salary. It happens all the time. And the same thing happened to us. We thought that this was depressing, and it was depressing. It was a terrible time. Everybody knows COVID was a bad time. But in terms of the sheer... Thinking back and saying, wow, how could it get any worse than this? Closing down the research. You know what? It was a, it was a nice. It was a, it was a mazel that, this, that for the shear, it actually caused growth for the shear, as you all know. Many people found us because of COVID, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a lesson in life. When you think things are down, it's actually up. Where was I? Why did I say that? I have no idea. What? Oh, so I was saying, right, we're talking about Avram Tukatsky, thank you. So that first day of COVID, when we left Peace Medrash and I was down, I got something in the mail, a huge box, which actually took like a month to get there to throw. But it worked out perfectly. It was a beautiful picture from Yona Weirib, given to me by Avram Tukatsky, and we've been great friends since. It was a big chizuk to get that in the mail and say, oh, there's other people actually... Um, a gift to my wife. Noshim ben Maizachen. Okay, fine. So he writes over here, what a beautiful scene. It's worth the trip from New York. I love your interview with the Nazir. And what you said today, the Chava Molgizah. So true. Anyway, Shem should give you the Kaya. Keep on inspiring Gideon and learn prayers from better people. You and your Rebbe since you have much from your children, gadgets. Plus, he's until 120. I love the stuff that Yosef Billigi adds to the videos. It puts a smile on my face every time. <laughs> <laughs> Ram Tikotsky. And finally, Obadia Jacob, one incredible event in Miami. Kotov are truly inspiring. I love the new song. I also like the new song. What is this? This we showed already, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know why I said it again. Okay. The Kailal is sponsored by Anonymous from Lakewood. The second sponsor for the Kailal is Sporting Player Strength and Hour Bitoff. The Masef is sponsored by Meiser. Best sponsor ever, because this is one word. Doesn't get any better than one word. Maybe it could be a shorter word. We have to find a guy. Story. What? What's the story? I don't know. Yeah. 
You mean that one word actually adds up to many more words? Tishma. <laughs> Meiser. I don't know what it is. I hope he tells me one day. The Mesef, the sponsor of the English, is Chaya Bas Yosef by Anonymous. The month, the sponsor of the English, is Chaya Bas Moshe. The second sponsor of the month is by Sprinty Nelly Gross. The English, the sponsor of our fathers, Shalom and Zalman, the Yitzchak Isaac, the Zephyr and Lebrach, and the Isaac, Ben, Svi, Hirsch, and the Zephyr and Lebrach. The Paris of Shavua, Vladislav Zakharov, for a successful research trip to our own national lab. Something like that. So we have a total Masechta month and a week. And now the day is only four. In honor of the entire Bukharian community, Bukhar, 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 Bukhari, especially Shari Eliyahu, Kita, in honor of Joseph Abramchik, it's you. From his loving family. From his loving family. You didn't know that you have one of those? I, I should check. They love you. And you're, you look shocked. Unless you put it in yourself and you're doing this whole yeah, shtick. Shirley Ferdman. Related to you? No. RL245. Lily Nishma is my dad. A Rav Moish Avram. Ben Oshi Zelig. Shalom Shadav and Aliyah. Apparently, should be Zoycha Tanaka Zedusha. Tremendous success in all my endeavors. And always be able to give the art for complete Rufu Shlema. I'm Tzvi Ben Leah. The boy side. Here we go. You know what? I was thinking, instead of me explaining the Gemara again, it's a, it's a kind of longer daf, but let's just do this in, in, in a minute. From the Mishnah. So these are the three things that you, a person, when he comes to Nazar, he can't eat the grape seeds, the grape peels. We have in our audience Official, it's the official Mishnah for him. You see here, I'm going to say the official Mishnah. <laughs> Sorry to say that. Not only, he gave, official gave a ton to MDY over the years, and he sponsored Maseftas, Maseftas Megillah, and this, 20,000 here, 20,000 there, $100,000 for the last Masefta. Great. But he always thinks about MDY. One of the things he came up with, a couple of things, I think turning to the daf was his idea, and he spon- the sponsoring of the mission is his idea. So it just, he wants to generate revenue for MDY. So, but since we already said it yesterday, we're going to have to say the guy's name again. Up upon him, the three things that a Nazar cannot do is he can't shave his hair, and he can't become Tame to a dead person, and he can't drink wine and wine derivative. So the person says, Hareini Nazar minachartzanim, minazagim, minatiglachas, minatumah, in other words, if he says one of these things, I'm not going to eat. Great peels, he becomes a Nazar. And, he's, and he, he has to be mocked as a regular Nazar. Because the regular way of becoming a Nazar is just to say two words. Hareini Nazar. It's not what he did. He started explaining. And sometimes explaining is worse than saying the real thing. Says the Gemara must listen like your Shimon. We did this, we're just going to do it quickly to review. Because we stopped in the middle of a sugi. The mission is not like your Shimon. It's not your Shimon. Once you start saying and explaining, you have to say all of them. Again, I can't say anything. Maybe, you know why? Because it's like 2 33 in the morning for us. And the body is supposed to be sleeping right now. So the eyes are like, you know, I'm everywhere. Okay. Huh? No, I don't usually go, but I don't give sheer now. No, I'm usually up at one. This is already past my bedtime. Shimon Oymer and Chayim Ashi Yidar Mekulam. This is when I'm getting up. For a bottom number, I feel like Nazar Ela Bechad Min Oymer Havin Nazir. My time there, Shimon. What what's Rav Shimon's svar they need? He has to explain everything. On my crown, me call she yasim me gefen ayayin me chatzanim adzai. Once the pasuk says that. You can't drink wine, so then why does the Pasuk go into detail? Hartzanim, the seeds and the, the peels. So this extra lotion has come to teach us that once you open your mouth, once you start explaining, explain it all. Now you have to go through all of them. If you don't want to explain anything, then just say, Harini Nazim, that's it. Rabbanon, my time. And I got Rabbanon say, just say one is enough. They also have some sort of leader. Again, it's also from the extra lasha. Once the Torah says in the following pasuk, 
anything that's from grapes. So then why does the Torah repeat in the Pasuk before that, Miyayim v'sheikhar yazim? Here, if you look on the screen, you'll see, in Pasuk it says, Miyayim v'sheikhar yazim. A nazar cannot drink wine. So then what, in Pasuk Dalar we say, Migefen ayayim. So it's a double, you can see it's a double lashon. So from that double lashon, it tells me that if I just eat one thing, that's enough. Where Rabbi Shimon says, I learned from the extra lashon, you have to say all three. It's interesting. On the, on the one side, Chafam say, from the extra words I learned, that all you have to say is one. Rabbi Shimon says, from the extra words I learned, you have to say all three. So now we're going to do, until like the Mishnah, it's going to be more like a drusha kind of sugya. What does this one do with this word? And if he does this with this word, and how does he learn? So how does the other side learn from that, this idea? And if they learn it from here, so then what does he do from this word? Let's see, typical drasha sugya. So Pasa Gimel, which Chachamim learned the extra Lushan from, Rav Shimon also has this extra word, these extra words. What does he do? In other words, we know that we do certain things with wine, like Kiddush, Abdullah, the four cups on Pesach. So if a Nazar is stuck, a guy is a Nazar. Does he make Kiddush on wine? Does he make Abdullah on wine? What does he do with the four cups of wine on Pesach? So it teaches you that wine for Kiddush is Asr. Wine for Abdullah is Asr. Wine for the Dalai is Asr. He's a Nazar. Nazar means no wine. Has he learned this? From the extra words of the Apostle. Miyayim Mishayim. Says the Gemara, Mahi. What is this mitzvah? Kiddush Dov Abdalta. Kiddush and Abdalta. Top of Dabdala Ramadal. Hare Mujba Voy Ben Olam Ar Sinai. So again, it happens to be there's a Rabbinu Tam here that says that the Lushan of Nazir is Mishuna. If you remember, in. It's a, that's how long we're going for? I need a backwards clock, but okay, it's fine. Nidarim, we kept on mentioning the, that the Rishonim say the Lashon of Nidarim is Mishuna. It's an interesting Lashon, weird, interesting, different. It's different, let's call it different. Mishuna different. There's the Rabbi Natam, the greatest Rishonim, the Lashon of Nazar is different. So the way to read it is Hare Mujba Vaimid Olam Ar Sinai. What? You have to make Kiddush on one? You have to make Kiddush on Abdullah? <laughs> Uh, have you have to make you have to make it on wine? Gemara is bothered. Why would I, why do I need a pasuk to say they can't drink wine when you're a nazar? You're a nazar, so it's for you to drink wine midday, right? So, so of course you can't make kiddush on wine. There's no pasuk in the Torah that says you should make kiddush on wine. That's a derabana. Make it on something else. Make it on bread. Now people make kiddush on bread. Make it on beer. I don't want. I have a question for the island. A Kayan who duchens, does Birkus Kahanim cannot be drunk. What if he drank a lot of whiskey? Say so he can't. Why? Yeah. Okay, we'll get to the Gemara. I saw something else in the Gemara. I don't know what you saw. Okay. It's a good thing you came to the share tonight. <laughs> All right, it's just a question because you think Tar says that a Kayan should not be drunk, he shouldn't drink wine. So you think, okay, anything that makes you drunk, whiskey also. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe I should have started the shit with that before we're thinking out loud. Okay, nothing to do with what we're learning right now. So the, it cannot be that the Torah is telling me halacha that you shouldn't make kiddush with wine, where it's not even a halacha in the Torah to make kiddush with wine. We have another problem. A guy swore, and when you swear something, you have to be, you have to keep it. He swore that he's going to drink wine. He's going to drink wine, and now he became a nazir. So how he, he has a contradiction. On the one hand, he swore he's going to drink wine. He's going to keep that shvua. On the flip side, he's a nazar and he can't drink wine. Now he has a dilemma. As in the zeros, and then the zeros, 
overcomes the shvua and tells him that he's not permitted to drink wine. Oh, Rabbananami, now we have to go back and forth and hold cup. Rav Shimon says this, Rav say this. Rav Shimon learns from this Pasuk, Rav learns from this Pasuk. Rav Shimon just learned the new halacha from this Pasuk. Now, how do they learn the halacha? Rabbananami, lesser yayin mitzvah, kiyayin rishos. Now, what if Chachamim, they, they need this Pasuk for this halacha. Okay, because it says two words here. Yayin, sheichar. So Chachamim have an extra word here. Shmas min Great. Reb Shimon at the time of the cause of Sheikhar. Now, we every time we use a word for one side, we have to know what to do with the other side. If Chacham are going to learn from the word Sheikhar, then what is what is Reb Shimon going to do with the word Sheikhar? La Lufe the teacher Sheikhar Sheikhar the Migdash. Oh, here is that Allah. The Chsiv Yaim Sheikhar Al Tash Atu Venecha Ita. A Kain is not permitted to drink wine. When he's going to perform the avoda, magavi nazi yainu the litzar of sharmash kim loy. A nazir is permitted to drink whiskey. There's no whisper. The Torah says he's only not permitted to drink a derivative of a grape, but whiskey he could drink. He could drink beer. There's no whisper for a nazir to become drunk. This is going to drink wine, grape juice. A grape, a grape seed. Avgabi Mikdash Nami, who the Litzar, Avashar Mashkim Nam Shtakrim Loi. So, too, when a Koyan performs the Avoid and Besam Mikdash, or in our days, he does Brikus Kuharem, he cannot drink wine beforehand, but whiskey he could drink. Well, I forgive me the Rebbe Huda, maybe this is what you meant. Yudha says, the sign of Yudha Oimer, and this comes to say that we don't go like Rabbi Yudha, but Rabbi Yudha holds that if a person eats a certain type of fig that makes you wheezy, it makes you a little tipsy, and he, he drank some sort of honey with water that also makes him a little tipsy, I don't know exactly what Chalav does, maybe in those days. Or even today, maybe, oh, yeah, you remember? No? What did you say? Exactly. She gave him to drink a little milk, and it, it kind of put him to sleep. Yes. I don't know, but I'm saying today also, maybe. According to Yudah, you are chayiv if you drink whiskey. Even if you drink a little milk, it's not it's not appropriate for a kind to drink before the avoid. Now, we had a so that's one way to learn the word sheikhar. What do you do with sheikhar to teach us this halacha about a kain in the base of Ibai same another way to learn the word sheikhar. Shimon Lesle iser halal iser. Beautiful sugya. We're not going to go deep into it, but. Just the idea of a person being over on two Averis, like I always like to say, unfortunately, one of my friends went off a little bit, and when we invited him, we tried to be chazikim, you know how you do, so you kind of bring him to the house for shops. Comes in, he's like, you're not going to believe it. I forgot what he said. I, like, I ate pork on your kipper. Ha! Like he's trying, but shaita, it's iser on top of an iser. It doesn't really work. You can only be over, depends on who you pass him like. But, the sign of Shimon Oimer, Oichon, the Vela, be Yom Kippurim. What came first? Yom Kippur and the Vela. The Vela, in this case, came first. This animal died without a, without a Shkita, so you can't eat it, it's in the Vela. Then you have Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur came afterwards, so what are you over on? Are you over on two Isurim, the Vela, and Yom Kippur? You're only over on the original Nisar of the Vela. Shimon Oimer, Oichon, the Vela, be Yom Kippurim, Potter. Not Potter. He's potter from two. He's, he, does, he doesn't get two Malchus, two uh, whatever, two, not Malchus, but two Yisur. Double what? Double jeopardy. You don't know double jeopardy. So. No, double jeopardy is different. No, but double jeopardy means that once I potter somebody, then you can't go get him again. <laughs> this is different. I don't know if this double jeopardy. I'm not a big moment in this stuff. I went to Panovich, but to me, do, this is punishing a person. Like sometimes, uh, the, I, I know the cops, they, they like to charge you for, 
aggravate assault and a pre preempted this and this. Could you do that? It was, I took a gun, I shot somebody. Now I want a, a, a federal official, that's one thing, and I'm going to put you away for 10 years for that. Another 10 years for this offense. The Torah says, if a guy does one answer, it's one answer. That's it. You can for 10 years. You can't get him for 30 years, start piling off charges. That's what it means. It's different than a double, double jeopardy. Okay. But anyway, Rav Shimon holds it doesn't work. Oh. No idea what I wrote here. Oh, yeah. so I'm, sometimes I can see straight. Sometimes I can't see straight. And now is one of those minutes I can't see straight. He buys same all Rav Shimon is a listener. The sign of Shimon Oimer, Oichel Nevel, we have a Kippurim, Potter. Oh, yeah, so what does that have to do with us? So a person made a shvu that he's not going to drink wine. So now you have two things. It's two Yisurim here. You have a shvu and you have wine. Uh, you have a guy that, that's a Nazarene Yom Kippur. So Nazar that drank wine in Yom Kippur. How many Yisurim was he over? He's over on Yom Kippur. He's over on Nazar. So Rabbi Shimon, no. He's only over on one. So, I have all these notes, right? So I want to remember what I have. I can't read it. That's it. Like last night, it's just, it's nothing to do with the lighting, I guess. Beautiful light right on top of me. Nothing to do. Maybe you can write bigger. No, I can only write between the lines. How much bigger? Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. You're right. The, the larger ones are better. Then I try to like cram in a bunch of notes into one little thing. Here, let me show you. See that? Okay. I hope it's not important to the pshat. It's probably one of those jokes that you don't want to hear anyway. Next, says the Gemara. Now, okay. So we're done with that. Now we have to go backwards. The Gemara, as we saw in the beginning, the Shimon learned from the Pasuk. First it says they can't drink wine, and then it says you can't drink, you can't eat tartanim, can't do it. But we already said, we call it gefen. Anything that comes out of a grape, you can't eat. So that was Rav Shimon's drasha, it's extra words, and from there I see that you have to, if you're going to start being mefaret, you're going to explain what you can't do as an other, so then you have to say all of them. You have to say, I can't drink, I can't eat peels, I can't eat seeds, then you become an other. He learns it from that possible. So Rabbanu Nami, Yoksim, we call it Shiyas, we give an ayayi, and what are we going to do with Rabbanu? What do Rabbanu do with that possible? Abel or Rabbanu, so they're going to learn, Hasam Nimit al Isure Nazir, Shemit Starfim Zem Zem. So, here. Here are two grape products. You have Zag and Chartum. You have the peel and the seeds. In order for you to be over, you have to eat the shear of a Kazayas. Come on out. So I take three, four pit seeds. And I put them together in a plate, together with five, six pieces of the, you know, this, this peel. And together I have a kezayis, boom, I'm over. That's chacham say. Because the, the Torah tells me all these other l'shoimahs, zag, chars, and this. They tell me that they're all in one category, the mitzdaref. Reb Shimon, so how does he learn that it's mitzdaref? Reb Shimon, less late zero. He doesn't hold it's mitzdaref. End the story, okay. Tzayim Shimon Oimer, Kol, Kol Shul Lemakas, Le'omru Kezayis Elin Karba. Says Reb Shimon that in order to get Malkus to be over on Malkus, you don't have to have a whole Kezayis. If you, if a, what are you doing here? You live here? <laughs> I see him at the Shir in Rabbi Chemish every day. I know he flies to Florida. I didn't know he was here. Okay. So anyway, it says like this. It says, that according to Reb Shimon, if you eat, the Nazar eats one pit, one pit, which is not a kezayis, he gets malchus. Just for that, he gets malchus. Okay. I'm scared of fishels. I'm just going to say the official Mishnah. <laughs> official, you were supposed to say the Heilig Mishnah? It's much better for me. But today I'm not. Today I'm not. The, Hel- <laughs> the official Mishnah sponsored. By Yol Freeman, Lil Nishmas, my dear father, Chaim Avram Sholem Yeruchem, Ben Yisrael Dabur. All of us Sholem. Huh? 
I can't see. I'm not can't see. I can't read. Hareini kishimshon kibem menoyach. I'm not. It's nothing to do with the lighting. I just my eyes have just seen blurry now. Hareini kishim. I'm serious. It's for us. Oh, there's a lot of Israelis here, right? How many? We have at least a million of Israelis. Hi, Yosef. Another Israeli. It's a middle. It's like two, three. It's three in the morning for us, right? It's four in the morning. Are like you saying three, four? Because they're three, three, three and four in the morning, right? It's and it was just yesterday. Just because we flew somewhere doesn't mean it's not three in the morning for us. No, no, by tomorrow will be fine. A few drops, this, that will be great. So guy says these three things. He says, I'm going to be like Shimshon. Now, we're going to get into the story, probably not today, tomorrow. The amazing story of Shimshon Agibor. A crazy story. So we all know Shimshon is, he had a lot of powers, like supernatural powers, because he was a Nazar. He was a Nazar from the time he was born. Malch told his father, he's going to be a Nazar, he's a Nazar. Hareini Kishimshon, a guy says, I want to be like Shimshon. Kebe Menoyach, like the son of Menoyach. Kebal Delilah, like the husband of Delilah. He said all three of these. Or he said just one thing. Kimi Sha'akar Dalsis Azah. Here, this is Yoshi's art for today. He literally lifted up the doors of Aza. Aza, we had to put a couple of our cousins up there. Make sure it looks like Aza. Okay. Now, we know that there's only one person in the world that ever did that. So when a person, all he has to say, doesn't have to say Shimshin, doesn't have to say Menoyach. All he has to say is like the person who blew out the the, the the doors of Aza. If he says, Kimi Shinikru Plishtamasena, Shinikru Plishtamasena. So there's one person who his eyes were poked out by the Plishtim, and that is Shimshon. Hareza Nazir Shimshon. That is what we call Naziru Shimshon. So now we know like this. There's a Nazir Stam. Usually, Stam, as we're going to have the next Mishnah, is 30 days. But you could say, I want to be a Nazar for six months, for two months, for 30 days. There's a Nazar Oilam. He's a Nazar forever. Now we have a Nazar Shimshon. Nazar Shimshon, like Shimshon Agiba. I have two emails there. I just want to read them real quickly, because that's a little bit to do with the Mishnah. Dear Veli, when you interviewed the Nazar, just when your lens fell out, he was saying he had a patent. About something written in Shulchan Aruch here there, did he say what that was? Thank you, Toto Archaim David from Manchester. Huh? Levi's brother. Then we have another one, also from the same family, from the same city, Dirabelli, in the meeting with the Nazir. How are you able to shake his hand and touch his hair? We all have Cheskas Tuma these days, there's no Paraduma. In fact, how does the Zeros even start? Being likewise the Cheskas Tuma. Time and Shalom, safe journeys, talk to you, short cats. Mechotan of Rabbi Bernard David manages to be talents in Sukkah, that you dial it on the base. On the base, that I never saw. We start from the base. Okay. So for him, all Omen Alephs of Shas are very, very quick, and Omen Bays are very, because he started from Omen Bays. So Omen Aleph for us is on base for him, on base for whatever. Go figure. Okay, so a couple of things. The Nazar I interviewed was the Nazar Shimshon. Another Shimshon, as we're going to see right here. Actually, it's the next mission. I, I jumped there too quick. The Nazar Shimshon doesn't have Tuma. He could go to a funeral. So me shaking his hand doesn't affect him. He doesn't, doesn't care about Tuma. That we'll see in just a minute or so. What was the other question? The other question was, he had a patent. Yes. His his idea, and I'm not saying it's a true idea, that's in his mind, it's a good idea. I doubt it's a good idea because nobody ever said it or spoke about it. He thinks he has a chiddush that nobody ever thought about. And that is that there's no such thing, there's a concept that if you do a hatara on a nether, on part of it, it makes the entire nether bottle. So if a guy does two nadarim together and he goes to the rub about one, both of them go off. So what he did, when he became a Nazar Shimshin, he made another nether. Just a regular nether. Let's say, I won't do jumping jacks ever in my life. So he goes to the Rav, and he's going to take off the jumping jack nether. 
And that is automatically going to take away the nether of Shimshon, the Naziris of Shimshon. Because the Naziris of Shimshon you can never get rid of. So he come, came up with a chap how you could get rid of Nazir of Shimshon. I doubt it, but that's his thing. I hope he doesn't have to use it. And I told him, that's, I mentioned this in the first year, even if he's right, it's going to undo his entire Naziris. What a shame and what a waste. His entire life he was a Nazir. But if you do Hatara, it retroactively removes everything. So he says, you're right. But if he's stuck and he has to do it, he has to do it. Okay. Says Gemara, why does he have to say all three things? Says Gemara, if he just said the word Shimshon, now there's other Shimshons in the world. Maybe he means his friend Shimshon. That's why he has to add it. The son of Menoya. We don't give him Menoya, Chavamino. By the way, the, the Mishnah says, Kimishin Nikru Einov, the, the Shimshin that his eyes were poked out. It's a famous story, but it's good not to say it because it's a machla. There's a machla of jealousy. And there were two people that are very jealous of each other, and they can never forgive the other guy. And I'm probably botching up the story, but. The bottom line of the story was that the king said he wanted to get rid of this machla. He said to both of them, take whatever you want. But each one was so jealous of the other. He said, whatever you get, the king said, the other guy is going to get double. So he didn't want to take anything. What is he going to take? He's, he's such a jealous person. He couldn't forget. There's people like that. They live their entire life just thinking about the other person and what the other guy has. Live your own life. No, this guy couldn't forget. So if he asked the king for $10 million, then that means his friend gets $20 million. No way. <laughs> he should have 20 million. I'd rather live in poverty than that guy have $20 million, 10 million more than me. He didn't know what to do until finally came up with the greatest idea ever. He said, poke my eye out. He poked one eye out and the king poked the other guy two, two eyes out. That, that's how he lived his life. The Indian of Kinnah. Kinnah, Kinnah, Kinnah. It's unbelievable. We sit and laugh, but I think we all have it a little bit in us. Anyway, so says the Gemara. There's other people that are some Menoyach. So, it seems like from Tysus you need all three, but if you have this thing, like something that's special only to Shimon, then that one is enough. You don't need anything else. Says the official Mishnah, sponsored by Yol Friedman, my dear father, Chaim of Ram Shalom Yeruchim, Ben Yisrael, Duvid Olav Hashal. Mavi Nazir Olav Nazir Shimshon. What is the difference between somebody who becomes a Nazir forever and a Nazir of Shimshon, which is also forever? Says the Gemara Nazir. Says the Mishnah Nazir Olav. Hichbet Saaroi. Make a batar. If he has very heavy hair, so. I, Here's this uh, very cool cartoon, actually. It's very, very heavy here. It's on the scale. And the guy goes, take off 600 grams. <laughs> and then he says, and, and make, behind, do it, do it in a, do a fancy step. You know, like, steps are cool, whatever. But not too much, not too little. If they should see, the kids are good. Anyway, that's the, the point is that it's, it's heavy. It's on the scale. I go bottom. If it's very heavy, so you can use a razor, use a razor blade, but you cannot use a scissors. And you don't, you can't go all the way to the skull. You have to like take off a little bit. So you like leave two inches of hair and you take it off with a razor blade. What are the three behemoths that a, that a, that a Nazar typically brings at the end? He brings a oila, khatas, and a shlame. So he would have to bring, every time he shaves his head, you have to bring three behaviors. Tosis asks a beautiful question here that another Shimshon can never take it back. You can't go to the Rav, like I just explained. You can't go to the Rav. Unless you're Rabbi Turgeman, you can go to the Rav on a second thing and whatever. But you can't go to the Rav. So how come the, how come the mission doesn't answer? Oh, here's the right Rav Turgeman. You could go to the Rav. That's a, that's a good answer to Tais. Uh, Tais doesn't answer that. Nazar Olam could go to Arav. Okay. 
He has an answer. Says, says the Mishnah, Benitma, and if another oil becomes Tame, maybe carbon Tuma. He has to bring the carbonates of Tuma, which are two birds, Chatz and Oila, and Asha. Nazar Shimshon, now listen to this Lashon. How would you understand this Lashon? Nazar Shimshon, Hichbit Sa'ara, if he has a lot, very long hair, any makeup, you cannot take a haircut. A Nazar Shimshon can't take a haircut ever. Vim Nitma, and it becomes Tomei, and it may be carbon Tuma. If he becomes Tomei, he does not bring a carbon. How do you understand this Lashon? If he became Tomei. To me, it sounds like he shouldn't become Tomei. He's not allowed to go to Levaya. If he did go to Levaya by mistake and he became Tomei, then he doesn't bring a carbon. But the Gemara understands, the Gemara says, no, that's not the Pshat. But I, I'm just pointing it out here because th that's what it seems like in the Mishnah. Five minutes. Says the Gemara, Nazar Allah, Who even mentioned Nazar Allah? You have to first say this a concept called a Nazar Oilam and then explain what it is. It says Gemari right, Tani, we don't have to explain it. You understand by yourself that it's such a concept, and this is what how the mission this is like a freebie. These next lines. Hi Marini Nazar Oilam, I raise Nazar. If a person says I'm a Nazar forever, he becomes a Nazar. Maybe Nazar Oilam, Nazar Shimsha, what's the difference? Nazar Oilam is Sa'ari, make up a tire. He could use a razor, or maybe shallow behemoths, nitva, maybe carbon tumor. I cannot. Oh. Asmachta. Okay, Tyson says over here, whatever. I can't even read. We'll go by it. Nazar Shimshon, and Nikbit Sa'aroi, ain't name make up a tar. But a Nazar Shimshon cannot get a haircut ever. The Dalam Bay sponsored. The Boy Shiva's Noam Atara, Mishlein, David, Amin, Shlita. Who always encourages us to finish Shas. And for that slough of the Mamchir, the members of the HBA group and their families, Omein Yishkoya. The Enoi may be carbon to and the Nazar Shimshin doesn't bring carbon. Says the Gemara, carbon to may my see of Nazir's Chayalalai. You're telling me that he shouldn't bring a carbon, but the Nazir's is still good. Mani Mastisi. Lerib Yudav Lerib Shimshin. So now we're just going to try to figure out what a Nazar Shimshin does and doesn't have to. Could a Nazar Shimshin go to a funeral on purpose and become Tame? So the Gemara says, like, Sayyir Bido Aimer, Nazar Shimshin, Mutter, Litam, Lemesim, Shkimetino, Bishimshon, Shinitma. The Gemara is going to explain tomorrow that Shimshon became Tame. He killed Plushtim. We know that he became Tame. So, according to Rabbi Yehuda, and we're going to say at the end, it does go according to Rabbi Yehuda, according to Rabbi Yehuda, a Nazar Shimshin could go to a funeral, no problem. And it doesn't bring any Kerbat. Gemara now understands that it cannot go like review them because it seems from the Mishnah he shouldn't go to a funeral. If he does, then he doesn't have to bring a carbon. It can't go like Rib Shimon either. Why Rib Shimon? I mean, Nazar Shimon, I'm a clue. Om Shalom Tzinu with Shimon. She yots and Nazir is mepiv. We don't. The Shimon, we didn't see by in Shimon that he actually uttered the words I'm a Nazar. Who made him a Nazar? A Malach, not him. Says Gemara Rabbani, your Yehuda, Amar Afilu Chatchila. Our Mishnah can't be reviewed. The Rebbe says a Nazar, a Nazar Shimshin, go to a funeral, no problem. Umasizing Tani im Nitma, and our Mishnah seems like he shouldn't go. Only if after the fact he went, he doesn't have to bring a car. And it can't be Reb Shimini, Reb Shimin, Dama, Amar Lechala, and Zeus Klal. Reb Shimin holds. There's no. If a person says, "I want to be like Shimshin," zero. Why? Because only Hakadosh Baruch Hu made him a Nazar. A mouth said he's going to be a Nazar. He never said he's a Nazar. So if you want to be like Shimshon, it doesn't work. It says Gemara, oh, you're right, it doesn't work. But our mission goes according to Rabbi Yudha. Layla Rabbi Yudha, the Ba'idi, the Kani, Gabi Nazar, Oilam, Ibn Nitma. On the Nami, Gabi Nazar, Shimshon, Ibn Nitma. You're right, it's not the best Lashon in the world, but it mimics the Lashon of the Mishnah. The Mishnah has to be consistent and easier to remember and memorize, memorization. Just put in words that flow. It says in the beginning of the mission that those kind of words, we use those words even though they don't, they don't really fit in the best way. This is the Gemara, but what is the here between Reb Shimon and Rabbi Yehuda, whether or not you can become a Nazar Shimshon? Is there such a concept of Nazar Shimshon? Maybe it's a Machloikis of this time. It's not. So here, check this out. There's something called Hatfasa. 
Hatzvah says, I take this loaf of bread, and I say it should be like that carbon chatos. Carbon chatos, we know, of any carbon. But I just put a carbon chatos because that's the picture I had from Yosha. Any carbon is, means somebody made a nether and said, this animal should become Kaddish. So Melo, when I say this loaf of bread, which is edible right now, I want it to be exactly like that item called a carbon. So I'm making a tfas, I'm making this loaf of bread, usher to eat. Now, I wanted to put a PIG here very badly, and then I controlled myself, I put a horse instead. There's a dover hanidar and dover ha'asr. There's green and there's red. There's go and no go. You want to take, you want to make your loaf of bread usher, so you want to take something that became usher because you made it usher. You had a sheep that was mutter, and you made that sheep usher by saying that that sheep is a carbon. But a horse or a PIG is not something that you made usher. It was born usher. So I can't take a loaf of bread and say, oh, my loaf of bread should be usher like this horse. It's not going to be usher like this horse because the horse was born usher and you're, you want to create a new usher. The only way you can do it is saying, this loaf of bread should be like that animal over there that was mutter and became usher later on in life. So too, this loaf of bread is mutter and it's going to become usher later on in its life. So maybe that's the machlokes, because a bechar, let's say a bechar, first born animal, the oldest of any animal, is Kaddish. Who made it Kaddish? Hashem. So now if you decided to take your loaf of bread and say, it should be like a bechar, does it work or not work? Is it like saying that it should be like a horse and it doesn't work? Or is it like saying it should be like a carbon and it does work? What's the shayla? So this is going like this. It's not a like This loaf of bread should be like a bchar. Rabbi holds that you don't need. You don't need a davar another. It could be a bchar. Could be even a davar. You could you could be matfis. I could say this loaf of bread should be like a horse. It should be like a bchar. Shimon Savar Lok Reb Yosi Amar Vinan Dov Another Reb Shimon holds. So when I say I want to be a Nazar like Shimshon, Shimshon is like a horse. He was born Kaddish. He was born a Nazar. So I cannot be like Shimshon. I can never be like Shimshon. <coughs> Shimshon is not a Dover Hanidar. It's a Dover Aaser. You want to be like that guy Ruvain that's walking down the street, like Rabbi Turgeman, who was born Mutter. And he became master later on in his life. So you could look at him and be mad with yourself and say, I'm going to be like him. But you can't use Shimshon as an example. Why? Because Shimshon was born a Nazar. Just like an animal is born a carbon, a, a bchar, Or an animal is born a horse. So maybe that's not like this. Could I be mad with in Shimshon? Like, no, everybody knows it has to be something that was born not a Nazar. And, you, and it became Nazar later on. Or my loaf of bread is going to be like a kosher animal which became a carbon later on in its life. So this also is an interesting lashem. If When I read it the first time, what's bay? In what? In a bukhar? No. The chsiv bay, Kaisis explains, is in Nidarim. Look at the passage. Ish kidr nether lashem. So there's an extra word there, Lashem. I made a nether. What does it mean? I made a nether to Hashem. To tell us that there's one thing that's La Hashem. There's an animal called a Bukhar and it's La Hashem. And even that, I can be matfis. It's a special limud that I can use a Bukhar as an example of something I want to become Asr. I want my loaf of bread to become Asr like a Bukhar. I only know that it works because there's an extra word, Lashem. But typically it doesn't work. It doesn't work on a horse. Because there's no special word about a horse in the Torah. Oh, the person says that this loaf of bread should be like a carbon chatos, like in that picture. It does work. As the Gemara, Why is chatos and asham Better off than a Bukhar. A Bukhar was born Kaddish, 
And the Chazas and Oshem is Kaddish. Why are they better? The Gemara says the obvious. How did the, uh, an animal become a chatas? The Gemara understood. The Gemara's question was that when you do Navera, you're chay of a chatas. So you don't really have a choice. It's almost as if it happened in the Shemai. But you do. Let him sleep. It's four in the morning for him. He's only 13. Let him sleep. He just woke him up. He's in the, he's in the army guy. He's, he's tough stuff. For the morning, you gotta learn tired now. So, is that what it is? Is it true that you fell asleep during the scene? That's a different problem. Right it's a seum. It's a seum. He came special with the seum. Anyway, says the Gemara. Why is it in the car? She has been not. So, in a chanami, you're high of a carbon chata. So what if you're chayiv? Still, a human being has to go and make it a chatas. Whereas a nazar, uh, a b'char, you know, a human being doesn't have to intervene at all. It becomes a b'char on itself. So this is an interesting thing. B'char, you need a human. You, you need a human intervention. Why? In the, the house of Rebbeinu Hakadosh, Rebbe, review the nasik. How do I know that when a, a b'char is born? You should go, it's a mitzvah to say this is Kaddish, even though, even though the Torah makes Kaddish by itself. So you see that it's a mitzvah, you should get involved. So if you get involved, this human intervention, okay. This is like the obvious, no? Yes, it's a mitzvah, it's a good thing to do. You learn Magdish, but if you don't do it, it's, it still remains Kaddish. You don't need human intervention. It's a good thing to have human intervention, but you don't need it. Says Gemara, Gabi knows an Ami Yoksiv, Lashem. Yeah? Hold on. Focus the lenses. Oh. So, Emela, so we just learned where it says Lashem. By Nidarim, it says Lashem, so I can be matfis in a Bukhar. I can use a Bukhar for a nether. So by Nazar, it also says the word Lashem. So let's be matfis b'shimshim. The whole, the whole question that we had now is if somebody says, I want to be a Nazar like Shimshim, does it work or not? Well, Shimshim was born a Nazar, so it doesn't work. But it says the word Lashem, so let it work. We have actual word Lashem. It says, Gemara, I'm a boy like the Sanya. That word Lashem is we use for something else. Oh, and now we go into a beautiful story. Beautiful story is interesting that the last time I said the story was in Manchester. The beginning of the dark. And I was also sitting on one of these by the Arkadish talking to the island. Interesting. I remember it vividly. I'll tell you why. There was a joke I said there. I thought that they're going to boo me off the stage. And I warned them, I said, you know, this jokes like this got me in a lot of trouble. And it was the first time ever I said a joke, and everybody clapped. Maybe I'll tell you the joke later. Whatever, if I have time. I'll go bottom, it was like this. First, we have to say the story. It's an amazing story. It's a story that it gives a lot of chizuk. It, it could really empower a person, the story. Omar Shimon HaTzadik. The famous Shimon HaTzadik. Miyom Eloi Echalti Oshal Miyuzikoyen. A kind gadol for many years. He says, "I never ate a asham nazir tamei because when a nazir is tamei, he has to bring asham." You know what the problem is? Think what, what could happen. A guy is a nazir, he's tamei, he brings the asham. Ten years later, he goes to the rav and says, "I don't want to be a nazir anymore. I made a mistake." So the, the rav says, "Okay, you're not a nazir." What happens? Retroactively, he's not a nazir. So that it comes out that he, when he brought the Asham in the base of Migdash, it was Chulun Bazar. Shimonat Tzadik didn't want to eat Chulun Bazar retroactively. Yes, you're right. When he ate, it was good. But it turns out the retroactively, I never touched anything like that. From a Khalti, from another, I never ate any Asham. Chut Me'adam Echad. There's one Tzadik that came to me and I realized he was a real Tzadik. And not to forget what's going on here, that's why it says Lashem. 
when it's Lashem, when I do something the Shem Shemayim, Hashem, that's a whole different category. Then I'll eat from And as the Marsha explains over there in the Dorim, Dorim means this guy was a big Tamakal. He was a big Tzadik and a Tamakal. Yifei Naim had beautiful eyes. V'toy Vroi, he was he was a beautiful man. Ukfutoy Sav's Durus Loi Tal Talim, he had great hair, curly, beautiful. Marti Loi Bni Mari Iso Lashachis Seir No Azu. Why why do you decide to when you finish with the Nazir, you have to shape the whole thing? What's going on here? Amali Roya Hoisi Loavi Biiri, as we know. The greatest Jews that ever lived were shepherds, including Rabbi Kiva, but going his back, Yaakov Avino, Kedavra Mela. He was a shepherd. And they always explain, because shepherds have a lot of time on their hands, and they're despoiled us. They're, they don't have the, the, the city life, and they're, they're in the mountain with the sheep, and they have time to, to talk to Hashem. I went to draw water from the spring and it's the first time in my life that I ever saw myself in a reflection, which in itself is, is a crazy thing. And my Yetzirah at that moment jumped and took over. He tried to take over. He started giving me crazy ideas. Such a good-looking guy. Go out and be over at Beirut. You have everything in the world that you want. What are you doing over here, Mr. Shepherd? Amarti loy. And the power of this tzaddik was that he was able to recognize sometimes you say to yourself, oh, I'm too tired. I'm too this or that. To realize that it's not you, that it's another source called the Yetzirah, that's the trick. If you tell yourself it's you, I need this now. I need to go to sleep now. I need that. I have to do this over here. When you realize it's not you, it's another source. He realizes it's the Eight Sahara. He's able to conquer the Eight Sahara. Amarti Loi, Reiko, you emptiness what you are. He's talking to himself. He says, What are you? You think you're so great. You're so good looking. At the end of the day, your, your beautiful face is just going to be food for the, for the worms. I make a shvur right now. I'm going to shave you off. I'm going to, because when a nazar, uh, let's say he becomes a nazar for 30 days, goes to me, they shave his head completely. Zero, zero, take the hair and they burn it underneath the shlomo. So that was his way. And you, you could see here a very interesting aside again. I didn't mention this one in matches. This is a new one. Why don't you just go to the barber? He saw his reflection in the, in the water. You want to, you want to, why does it have to become a nozzer? And in 30 days from now, he's going to go, some and he cut out there. Go to a barber, get a haircut. And then you're done with your big taiva. Now you don't have beautiful hair. You know what the answer is? Very, very simple. Because when you have a certain inspiration in life, you got to act at that moment. You cannot wait three seconds. You got to act that moment. When you say to yourself, I'm going to start the daf, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go on a diet, it has to be that moment. Because once you wait just a few moments, it's all over. Then the answer gets to you and does yeah, 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 and then you give in. So what did he do? He knew that if he waits until he gets to the barber, it's not a shot. Could be his wrong shot. I like it though. If he thought he's going to go to the barber until he gets down the mountain, da, 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 to the barber, and the barber get a, an appointment, it's, he's going to convince himself against it and he's going to have Tivus. On the spot, he said, I'm a Nazar. That's it. Now he's done. Now he's forced to shave his head. He says, Rav Shimon, I kissed him. I, I was so impressed by this human being. What he did, that I gave him a kiss on his forehead, on his head. 
Nazirim be Yisrael. Such Nazirus, when it comes out of a, such a pure place in his heart, that kind of Nazirus we, we should look for. Olecha HaKasav Oymer, Ish ki yafni lindor neder nozer lahazir Hashem. This is the Hashem. This is the, 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 the Nazirus that we're looking for. There's two types of Nazirus. Nazirus that's completely for the Rabbani Shalaylah. Let's stop here, Rabbi Isai. Rabbi Isai, have a wonderful day. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.